Okay, then we're back to initiative. Not great, but still not terrible. I don't think I've rolled bad for initiative with a minus five penalty yet. That 34 actually doesn't miss, because I have my luck bonus to hit. I thought that I'd fix that in the macro. I guess not. Hey, there's a crit finally. For my two attacks, I can't attack one, take five feet, take a f an attack, can I? Uh, yeah, why wouldn't you be able to? Okay, just making sure. You just can't cleave without cleave through if you can't reach the guy. Yeah. Because cleave through is one attack, or cleave is one attack, it has to be someone you can reach when you make that attack. Just for posterity here. Okay. What's that? I got a crit. Oh, you were just it, rolling your confirm. It, yeah, it died from the damage, but because of my affiliation table, I have to roll every crit regardless. No, I you just didn't exit out until after you rolled the confirm. Uh, and Violet. Violet will. Yeah, if you guys saw that, uh, my bad. Ignore that roll. That's a 10 foot square, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, so Violet cast Grease right there. Okay. Her DC is uh, 20. They both fail. So they both fall on their asses? <laughs> Is that what happens when you fill the save? On Grease. Yeah. Reflex, save, or fall. The save is repeated on your turn each round. That the creature remains in the area. A creature can walk within at normal speed with the DC 10 bounce check. Failure moves, it can't move. While well, failure move by 5 or more means it fails. Okay, so right off the bat, they fall prone. They fall prone yet. Okay. Okay. Um, are you done, Corey? Yep. Then we're on to Yogi.
Yeah, that was basically my point about um, high level games. Is a, it's not hard as a DM to create scenarios that are challenging for you. It's just whether or not it's plausible. Like I got to put eight more pairs of giants and hellhounds in here to make it more challenging. All right, I'm done. Oh, you didn't kill the hellhound. You only made two attacks? I only get two attacks. Oh, no, I get three. Yeah. Good lord. Double critical. I could triple credit, but I'm not going to. He's just paced. Why do you have a rolling macro for your uh, max damage? Oh, if I so if I do the crit, but I fail to confirm, I know I do ninety-seven damage. Yeah, but why don't you just write in ninety-seven damage? Why do you have? A because macro? it takes into account if I power attack or not. Oh, sweet! That's awesome. Okay, uh, then we're into killing. Um, I think I'm just gonna. Just fire at that one, I guess. Okay. Remember, you're minus four because they're prone. Oh, that, that's a shame. Okay. I kind of want to fuck with pr prismatic spray. I want to use it, so I'm going to use it on these two. Oh, uh, how about how big is a cone shaped burst? Uh, well, how how big does it say the cone shaped burst is? It says area cone shaped burst. Okay. Well, read the spell. I, I, I am. It says range 60 feet, area cone shape burst. There you go. 60 foot cone. <laughs> yeah, oh, it's 60 a... foot cone. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, and then I will just aim, move over here to aim it so it doesn't hit Corey. Corey and... wants to go to another plane. He loves the planes. <laughs> um, I, and I, uh, first one will be the first D8, second one will be the second D8. Radical concept. Three is 80 electricity damage. Reflex for half. 80 electricity damage? Yep. And second one's 80 electricity damage. And yeah, they're they're prone, so they're hooped. Oh, the lag on roll 20 is unreal. First one's dead. Like that one, the 15, let me put in my modifier and then removed it. It was lagging so badly that it was still remembering the last thing I typed from the previous one. Holy shit. So yeah, uh, first uh, one's dead, the other one takes 80. Okay. And that is it for me. Okay, then we're on to the hounds, which I think they're all dead. So then we're under Archer. Yeah. Prismatic Sphere is cool too. Yeah, that was uh, kind of interesting. Yeah, but if you'd rolled red, that would have sucked. Yeah, same with all. <laughs> yeah, fire down. Yeah, blue's pretty awful on Giants too because they're not going to fail a Fortitude save. But They're, sending him to another plane could have been funny as hell. So does it, yeah, the will save might be pretty easy. And it doesn't say they come back, so... No, they're, they're just sent away. Yeah, oh, their will's plus nine. It's not terrible, but it's also not good. Their reflex is usually their shittiest save, because they don't get it as a class ability, and they have a low deck. 
Is everything dead now? Uh, might be. He just finished off that last hill giant. Or fire giant. There you go. You filled your fucking diaper, and they were all dead within two and a half rounds. Yeah, I, I, it's been a while since I've played this game, and I've only played one session, then we quit for two months. So I'm not used to how overpowered everybody is. Oh, there's still one fire giant. Okay, and he will breathe on Yogi. That's pretty shitty damage. So, nothing? Okay, and then we are back to initiative. That is... A spooky hill giant or fire giant. Oh, ignore that. I'll just. <laughs> My initiative is 1787. <laughs> I go first. Take that, slow pokes. When you get 300 rounds into the future, let me know. Roll initiative, Corey. He's already in the future waiting for us. I was calculating what it actually was. <laughs> oh, you were just figuring out the math. Okay. Yeah. Why is your... Initiative point nine, but your bonus is plus eighteen. Oh, you rolled an eighteen. Yeah. No. My bonuses are plus sixteen point nine. Why is it point nine? Because that's my dexterity. I oh, thought that's okay. how it that's worked. Right. You did your your dexterity bonus as your point percentage. Yeah, I did. I don't care what number you put in there. I was just trying to figure out how you came up with a nine. Did you say 300 rounds initially, John? Uh, yes. You were you were all only off by two and a half rounds, if that. Uh, yeah. That's 297.8 rounds. Oh, we're leaving the... It's not hard math. Deal with the fire giant by himself. Six goes into 18. Do you have another fire giant over there? Yes, I do. Oh, I didn't see it. That's fine. Do you, do you really? Did you call out that you have another fire giant over there? No, I didn't. Because I technically can't see anything. So yeah, I guess fair. I should probably just be holding. So I guess I'll do uh, that. I mean, it's, no, it's fine. I'm just going to cast Disintegrate on it. I will sure. delay. Okay. What are you doing, Yogi? If I had to take two five foot steps, I don't get a full attack, right? No, but oh yeah, you only get three attacks, right? Yep. Yeah, so this is what happens when you take the wrong uh, feet. You should have taken improved specialization like Corey. You don't have one for two handed. You have it for two weapon, but not two handed. No, improved specialization for your weapon. Don't you have specialization in your stick? Talking about from the fighter fighter treat side? Yeah. I'm guessing not. No, because he gets it from two weapon fighting. No, he gets it from improved specialization. He gets eh, I'll four, have to look into four it. attacks around because he gets a bonus attack from specialization. I think what it I think I looked into it, but I was too far away from it to invest in it. Yeah, it's three or four feats to get it. Yeah. It's just specialization. Focus is a good feat to have. Gives you a bonus to hit. Specialization is plus two to damage. And then the improved is an extra in attack. 
Yep. But I'm good. No, I was just checking. Um, then we're on to Kellen. I'm just gonna shoot this. Shoot this one. Uh, eight times cluster shot. Cluster shot bypasses, or I only take dr once on his armor. Uh, yep. Okay. Miss, miss, miss. Uh, the the second one hits. Yeah, but you got a twenty-seven is miss. Twenty-six is a miss. Twenty-eight is a miss. Oh yeah. Okay, 20 up miss. You fire a longbow like a spaz. No, he, the way he's got it, he's got it like I do. He's got attack, crit confirm, damage. So the second attack was a 40. Yeah. Oh, okay, I didn't see that. So third attack misses, fourth attack hit. No, I'm looking at attack 1, 27, attack 3, 26. Attack two twenty eight. Attack two hit. Oh yeah. Uh, I'm not looking at confirms. I'm looking at attacks. Oh, he rolled it. He's doing four by four. I'm looking at attack two at the top. Attack two longbow forty. I yeah, no, that. that's that's right. I started at the attack uh, one and three. The point being, he rolled three misses on eight attacks. Yeah. Okay, well, that one got brought low. Um, I forgot to... What is a swift spell? It's plus four modifier. Plus four? Uh, yes. All right, I'll just finish... Try to finish that one off with the Ice Land. What level is Ice Land? It's a third level spell. Oh, okay. Um, he can make a uh, saving throw C attack. Oh no, it hits the damage hits no matter what. It's just a fourth save or be stunned for D4 rounds. But he is dead. Did you kill the giant that you cried about me leaving you against? Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. I am just going to call you out on this. He either gets a save or you have to make an attack roll. There's oh, yeah, no way yeah. that you're doing 66 just for there. free. I made I made the attack. I did the attack roll. Okay, I just was trying fine. to read the spell. It was really weird. It's really weird. I, I don't care. I just either he gets a save or he gets an, an attack roll. That's all I wanted to make sure. It's yeah. a shitty spell. 66? Yeah. Uh... But it's a cheap, or it's a low level spell, and I mean, it's if it if he fails a fort save, he gets stunned for D four. That's fair. Still a shitty spell. Yeah, well, casting it as a swift is fine. All right, and that's it for me. Okay. Uh, then the other fire giant will attack Yogi. Oh, 43. You finally hit. You need an 18 to hit you. He never learns. He really, truly doesn't. Who? Joe, taunting the DM again. I'm not taunting him. The funny thing is, when he couldn't hit the uh, the master, he was all pissy. I don't think I've actually rolled to hit anyone, so I don't even have a macro for this. Oh no, I hit someone I remember doing plus 20 damage. So 33 points of damage. It sucks that he only gets two attacks. Oh wait, he gets three attacks. What am I thinking? He misses the third one. 
I think I did that whole fight without doing the three attacks. Somehow well, most of, up. I'll say most of the time they were just breathing fire or throwing a rock. Yeah, it was uh, a yeah. There really. was at least one other time that he he got a full attack on you, on you or someone else. I don't know why I looked at plus 11 base attack and thought uh, two attacks. But not that it matters. Okay, I think there were five and five there. Yeah. Uh, the Hellhounds don't have anything, but the Fire Giants, I think, are CR 10. So you're just going to call him dead? Um, yeah, I would guess that he's not going to survive another round. Archer still has to go, and then we roll initiative at minus five. And he needs an 18 to hit you. He's not going to run, but... Or Archer could just kill him right now. Well, his fourth arrow did 58 damage, so... Yeah, I'm going to say he's dead. Yeah, that was pretty much what I was figuring. I didn't think you guys would be expending any more resources to kill him, and he's not likely to win initiative. Lies, he would have won initiative. But he didn't live that long. Sorry. Yeah, it is what it is. I had actually planned on uh, a much more elaborate combat for this situation, but I didn't have enough time to make the uh, Lake of Lava map. I was diddling around with all my different things. I didn't have a really good, I wanted to use like a tar pit and I didn't have anything that represented that. So I just went on to a different map. And then by the time I came back to it, I was like, yeah, I don't have time to make a map and do the DL and get everything set up. All right, so what do they have loot-wise? Uh, I think they are CR10 monsters. Yeah, they're CR10, so it would be five CR10s. Do I need to roll that later? Yeah, you can roll later. It's, I don't think there's going to be anything in there that's going to be life-altering to you. All right. Why did everyone except Kalen get removed for initiative? Oh, because dumb people are rolling initiative. And the Hellhounds had nothing. No, the Hellhounds don't have any treasure. I was actually surprised by that myself. I'm guessing it's because they don't really layer. That's fine. Okay, um, so you're going to wait till later to roll the treasure? Yeah, so we can just keep going. Okay, so where do you want to go from here? All right, left or right, guys. They came from both directions. Um, there was a exit over here. Oh yeah, Callan. Which way are we going? This way. There is an exit right here. I think. Yeah, this is an exit right. Here. Do they have like piles of treasure somewhere in their lair? We get. We just get those, right? Yeah, Joe's gonna roll it later. I forgot to uh, send him treasure lists. I was still prepping right up until like 10 minutes before we started. Um, he asked me in the morning if I needed anything. I was like, I don't know yet. I haven't figured everything out. Yeah, I will stop shitting my pants over encounters now.
I don't want you to think that you shouldn't be cautious and you shouldn't use reasoning, but you have to understand the level of, of play that we're at now with the, with these characters. A couple of giants is not going to be the end of the world unless they're storm giants, and then you know, fill your pants as much as you want. The thing is, the giants, if they were in better positions. Like, I, I try not to metagame it. Like, they're just hanging out in their lair. They're not going to be standing in groups ready to fire rocks or anything like that. Like, you guys stood around casting spells, and I just rolled a d20 every round to see if the hellhound that was there could smell you or hear you or whatever. And I eventually rolled well enough that I thought it was reasonable he could move up. And he moved up and got slaughtered. The giant that was there went, what? What the hell's going on? He moved up and got slaughtered. That was enough noise that the rest of the giants moved up and they just came in in single file until they were all slaughtered. Have you put us on this map yet? Or... Hello, darkness. Yep, Bye, sorry. Friend. Storm giants don't seem dark cloud. Is it cloud giants or storm giants? Oh yes, I was looking at cloud giants. Storm giants look scary as fuck. Shit, I deleted you guys from the screen, and I cut and pasted you before I deleted you. But uh, then I cut and pasted something else, and I lost your character. My two characters are still selected. What do you mean still selected? I had them selected, um, grouped, right of the screen. Where on the screen? It's no big deal. I can just go grab them from somewhere else. Yeah, they don't appear on my screen. You must just be lagging. Okay. Do you still have yeah. no vision? No, I don't have vision. Okay. Yeah, you're just lagging then. The vision is what happens when I delete your character. God, that's the Cory with no light again. Okay, you guys travel down the tunnel uh, for a couple hours, and it opens into another cavern. Uh, same thing, invisibility scout. Or okay. do we want to just go... No, I'm just asking, that was a question. Do you guys want me to go invisible and scout, or just, you know, YOLO our way through here? Following once, go one twice. If you want to go invisible and fly around, you do you, boo boo. Oh, okay, I'll do that then. Uh. One, two. I'm just going to refresh while it's going on. My lag is unreal.
I count six basilisks, and they are huge. Somehow we still ended up fighting basilisks. <laughs> I, I, you guys didn't really survey the other tunnel. There were three other exits from it, but you went down the west tunnel and then went through the east tunnel. And I was like, okay, well then we'll do both. We can turn around, or we can just go through the. We can go through here. There's six large basilisks. Uh, U turn. U turn. U turn. <laughs> and you guys are like, oh. If you want to go survey, you can go survey. I mean, I'm not worried about them, but... If he gets turned into stone, we're not going to know because he'll be stone and invisible. That's cool. <laughs> but the invisibility <laughs> runs out after a few minutes. Yeah, but it would have been funny to hear the thud, and you're like, what was that? <laughs> no, he'd keep flying, wouldn't he? Yeah, I think I would. Cause yeah, he'd I'm, keep I... flying until his elemental body ended. So in addition to being invisible, he'd be a rock in the air. Wouldn't even better if you fell on the basculus. Just one last fuck you. <laughs> yeah, I think every time we hear a thud, we're just going to assume it's Kalen being knocked unconscious by something. <laughs> to be like, what did he fucking do? Did he decide to start cooking dinner or something? This character is the embodiment of the meme. Wizard dies to D4 down. You definitely didn't have to be. When you started, you actually had a ridiculously high uh, hit point total because you rolled really well. Yep. Rolling it, a D12 and rolling high on it is pretty amazing. It's just when you roll another 10 D12s and don't roll well. Well, I switched Dark and Archer, like, and so I lost the D12. Oh, what's the archer give you? D8. Oh, yeah, that's a big step down. Yeah, it's full BAV, but D8, unfortunately. Okay, so you guys are going to 188 back? Yep. Yep. We made a wrong turn at Albuquerque. I thought that was hilarious. That was so awesome. Okay, well, we're going to go up this uh, western tunnel, and then we're going to go east, back to the other tunnel. And to be fair, we should have went north, kept going north. Yeah, I was kind of wondering why you guys didn't even survey that cave. You went up and went, oh, there's an exit here, we'll go this way. Okay, um, I think I'm going to have to call it early. Um, I've got some uh, household issues that I'm dealing with. Um, I was kind of hoping to get a nice long session in, but wife problems are wife problems. Okay. Anyways, uh, have any questions before I bail? Oh, nope. Okay, well, I will see some of you tomorrow and the rest of you later. Uh, well, we're not playing the plane walker game tomorrow, are we? No, uh, Jagat has to work tomorrow, so he doesn't get home until like 3.34. Okay. I will ping him uh, and find out exactly what his plan is. Um, I think the same deal with uh, Josh. He's not available until his game's over. I think his game ends at two or three. So we can't play early for those two reasons. Okay. So see you tomorrow at three. Okay. Later. See you.